Okay, so I'm gonna do this sheet next, uh, mainly because if I screw up on the one where the water goes, uh, that's not good, because then there could be leaks. So I'm gonna do this side first. Uh, so if my measurements are off or if I do something wrong, then I can uh, correct them over there. So the width of it is 30, 29 and 7 eighths, 29 and 3 quarters, 29 and 3 quarters on the bottom and on top. 29 and 3 quarters. We'll just go 29 and 3 quarters. Yeah, that'll be fine. 29 and 3 quarters. And just to make sure. 29 and 3 quarters might be too far, too long. But anyway. Um, now from the floor to the ceiling. It's going to be... 82 and a half and you see how we go all the way to the floor because we am going to cover up this part that part there uh, it's going to be one piece now we're going to put trim along here and one here along the floor and then there's a cap on the end that i have uh, that we'll use for the end cap um, and so I'm going to go cut all these pieces and this measurement over here is uh, 60, 68, 68 so those are my measurements and I'm going to go cut them or cut the sheet Okay, I just want to show when you're, when, when you're cutting this corner, you want to cut it at a 45 this way uh, so that when you put in that piece, they butt up against each other. So I pushed it all the way in over there. Uh, I cut the 45 on that edge. And then now I'm going to cut a 45 here. I can always cut more. So that should be good. Uh, I will see how long that is. Um, actually, a little bit. A little bit on the short side, unfortunately. That would have been kind of a perfect piece, but I already trimmed it. Um, so, I don't know if this can actually go anywhere, but uh, I will test this. cut it that way so it's gonna go against the tub like that and then the notch is gonna be here if I cut it the wrong way well it would have worked <laughs> but that's why I'm testing so we'll cut it 45 this way and then that should go like that things a little bit, figure out what's the best case scenario. <laughs> 